Hello everybody, I'm Rido, welcome back to the Age of the Ring cast. We are back on the River Aizen. Today, in the top left, we have Ere- we get Erebor so much now. And I am not complaining, because there was a time when we never saw Erebor, and now we always see him. Anyway, it is Tangrim playing Erebor. In the bottom right, it is a Gondor- oh, it's Kalibur! Oh no. I hope this Tangrim guy knows what he's got himself into, because Kalibur- Kalibur knows what he's doing. Kalibur's a big boy. He's, uh, as the kids would say, put on his big boy pants. Anyway, Pinneth Gellin start. What the, all the pros use. The pro gamer start, the cami fries start. And, uh, what the hell? Oh, okay. He's gone for the ravens. Okay, maybe Tangrim knows what he's doing. Nothing says confident, arable player like wasting your tier one like that. Um, but yeah, he's scouting it out. He knows the cav start is coming. So, we're gonna see, obviously, an early pike. And he's gone for the Oaken Shield path. Now, this is something we don't see. Few people can resist the lure of the Gloin and the Gimli. But this guy has. And he's going with the really cheap Lake Towners, which... will definitely just own these Pinneth Galen. He hasn't actually made any Pinneth Galen. Maybe he's... Okay. Kalibur is playing... Is going full five head here. He knows that he's been scouted. So he knows the enemy's gonna counter the stables. So now he is gonna build a barracks and build regular swords to counter the pikes. Because he hasn't he literally hasn't made anything from these stables. That has to be the reason. Bro, Kalibur is big 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 brain. Um, one thing to note with the, uh, Lake Towners is that they're cheap and they're weak, but they actually do get a Horde bonus. 25% damage and armor in numbers of 80 or more, so... It's kind of strange that they get that. Um, but they do get that, and it does make up for, uh, their, uh, weak, uh, stats, I guess. Anyway, they're going straight across the River Aizen. Not dressed as Riders in Black, dressed as Chads in Blue, I guess. And they're going for the farm. And they're ignoring all that warg money. And here come the clans of Lamadon. They're not going to be able to save the farm. Um, but they can probably kill them now. And Tangrim going full on the offensive. He's attacking them right and he's attacking them left. Kalibur on the back foot. But more clansmen are being queued up. And one Pinneth Gelen is coming out. He's probably going to guess the... Probably going to reserve them for the Lake Town Archers. And poor Kalibur is chasing, basically chasing ghosts here. And he's, he stopped eventually. And really high level play by Tangrim. He moved those guys on because he knew that these guys could get it. So that's two farms down. Penneth Galen on the counter attack. He's creeping the Warglow at the same time. Nothing but spears so far. Literally, he's made four units and all spears. And uh, their damage to the farms are actually respectable. Anyway, here comes the counter-attack. No tunnel collapse. He does have one archer actually in the mines. And did he buff them? He did buff them. Okay, he used, ca he used Captain's Horn on them. Okay. And look how little of the map he can see. It just makes it more impressive when they micro everything like this. Alright, Tunnel Collapse is being researched. We'll see what Pinneth Galen... The Commander's Horn, I think it's actually still there. Uh, that's what those rings entail. And maybe, just maybe, he'll get this. Pinneth Galen aren't known for their amazing attack. Oh, and he's... He's... Well, he is actually going to get Tunnel Collapse on that mine, then. And... Yeah, they're so cheap, you don't even need... He could go for a second assembly if he wanted because they're so cheap. But instead he decided to put all of his money into the Iron Hill Ram Riders. The, basically the only reason to go Oaken Shield Path, in my humble opinion. And by humble, I mean absolutely biased opinion. But these Ram Riders, I mean look how fast they are. And they're so beautiful. I love those little goats. Look at them. Oh god. I think I do prefer Battle Wagons. But still, the Ram Riders are just adorable. They're so adorable. <laughs> uh, send in the goats. God damn, they're so cool. I mean, did you see? There was no trample slowdown there. 
Literally, for Lamadon, they all just got deleted. Literally, all f would And there it goes. Anyway, it would have been hilarious if you got the creep money there, but, uh... Thankfully, uh, Carlobit managed to get away, get, get away with it. Wisdom of Yore goes in. Of the Blue oh, Eridlawin Traders. Okay. So they heal outside of combat. At level 2, they get resources per kill. So it's it's not a, it's not a passive as well. You have to activate it, which is kind of why they're annoying. They're small in battalion size. Uh, where are they? They're there, but they're actually decently strong. Like, they can take a few things, but... Uh, I don't know, for me, they're just too risky. Because they are 450 and they don't always work out, so... I mean, amazing that he's actually going for that. Anyway, I think a mine did go down there when we were observing the uh, Ram Riders. But between you and me, I'd rather look at Ram Riders than a uh, mine go down. Alright, creeping going on there. Moving Roak with the army here. Archer's doing their thing. There goes the Horde bonus. And there's no banner carrier, so I'll just have to level up these uh, Eridlawin traders the uh, regular way. They do buff Siege level 3. Lol, imagine getting value out of that. And then Dwarven Firework as well. Dwarven Firework, it, it actually does like a knockback. It does some damage. Alright, there are the Ravens. So there's the debuff, but it's just a speed debuff, right? Literally just speed, okay. Uh, are these guys level 2 yet? No, they are not. And that picture there is actually from Fantasy Flight Games. Um, I forget what the name of the card is, but I remember it from the uh, Lord of the Rings ACG. Um, it does heal you in that too, and in this one it does heal him. But yeah, he didn't get that much value out of there. Pinneth Galen are still <laughs> trying to get some value. And uh, yeah, the Lake, Town the Lake Towners are at a disadvantage because Clansmen just decisively beat them. So I think what Tangram should be doing is, um, is to sort of mass reduce what he's doing now, and that's the Bowman, because they should be able to counter the Clansman of Lamadon. Anyway, forward well to uh, heal up all of these uh, Lake Towners. And the summon is back already, just to instant delete those Clansman of Lamadon. Credit to Carlo, but he's counterattacking where he can. Master Balin comes out now, he be Balin. Here you go, the Ram Riders. Let's see if they do decelerate. Let's see if they do get crushed deceleration. Oh, they stunned him! LOL! <laughs> okay, they did slow down. He got two battalions before he slowed down. They have the best trample in the game, I fucking swear to god. Like, Gilded Guard or Ram Riders? I think Ram Riders actually win. Anyway, they're finally stuck. And that guy just fell off his Ram. Like a bit of a donut. Okay, it's been so fast-paced. Carlob has been counter-attacking. We've missed some of it. Level 1 archery range. So no one orange yet. Still fiefdoms. Maybe we'll get, um, Forlong. Because that Blade Master can cut these guys down pretty well. He could always research into heal to sort of, uh, if any mistakes came in. And fully armed and filthy. He's gonna put- Okay, watch this. Okay, Tangram knows what he's doing. Watch this. So he's gonna put them all in. And then he's gonna exit all of them. And then he's gonna hit S to stop them. Uh, I'm assuming he's doing it out this mine. He's gonna call them all out, and then he's gonna hit S, and then fully armed and filthy? And that's heavy armor on all your troops, baby doll. Whoo! Okay, I'm sorry I doubted you, Tangram. I didn't recognize the name, but... Holy shit, man. You know what you're doing, man. Okay, Balin. Watch out. He's giving him speed and vision. Hold on, watch out, watch out. He's got the eco upgrade as well, Dwarven Wisdom. Plants a Banner of Durin. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. Numenorian Engineering. Tangrim Retreats. Lots of Blackroot Rail Archers here. And not many casualties because they got heavy armor. Maybe he doesn't notice they've got heavy armor. Roet gets out of there. He's actually on half health there. And um, if he can keep Roet alive in time for the uh, Messenger of the King to come back, then that should... That should be uh, pretty decisive because uh, you can kill all these archers really quickly and then send the rest of the army in. Okay, he's got the Kreb. I'm not sure how much value they're going to get here. There goes the Captain's Horn. That's 50% damage. That's crowd controlled now. Here comes Bard. And Forlong did come out. Man, I can't play this game for shit, but I read these players like a book. And he did go for Forlong. 
All right, there are Honorians defending the trebuchet. I'm not sure they get anything done. I think all these back foot Veil archers are actually hitting Bala. Needs to watch out to lose him there. Messenger of the King will be back in probably like 10 seconds, maybe? Whether he'll do it in this fight or wait for the next one is still up for... Well, we'll see what happens. Oh! No way. There is no way you cast from there. Jesus Christ, what a what range on that cast. Yikes. Anyway, Blackfoot Veil, dead. Forlong, does, ha does have his Blade Master. Needs to watch out because these guys have Horde Bonus. Eight points now for Tangrim. Lots of power points. And heavy armor. Even though Gondor had the better troops there, these guys were upgraded with heavy armor. That extra durability plus the Horde Bonus just made all the difference. He's going to have to get at least a couple Lin here. And... Um, He's going to have to just cover them because the Ram Riders are getting so much value. All of those troops are level 5 now. Like, well, actually, except for a couple. Faramir sees the, sees the brand. So it's an Archer Hero for an Archer Hero. Axwin of Losanak now. But how does he counter level 5 units with heavy armor now? The only way he's going to lose them is if he just completely feeds them in. Because they're level 5, which means they've got the highest possible stats they can get. The only thing they're missing is... is uh, Forge Blades. So, yeah. In terms of, like, health and armor, these guys can't get any higher. Let's see what the Pinnef Gallon can do. They can probably get that, take out these archers. There goes the Arrow Volley from Faramir. And I wonder if he actually noticed that, uh... Okay, there goes the uh, resources per kill. That's what that aura is, but Fallon gives no fucks. There goes the uh, Fish in a Barrel, so they're healing in combat. Brand is actually right there. He, like, slam-shotted the uh, Forlong. Forlong, not sure what he's doing there, but the heal did come out. I think that was a bit of a bug. Forlong, instead of attack, started moving forward. Wait, how long is the slow? On... Oh, bullshit. Bruh. Bruh the Bowman. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Precise arrow that significantly slows down an enemy unit. Fucking hell. That slow was amazing. Poor fall on it. Ah, oh, that that was oh poor Caliber. That was so unlucky, man. Fall on was tearing it up, and then he moved too far forward somehow. He was probably trying to chase a unit that like moved or something, and then the slow just completely fucked him up because he couldn't get out once he realized he'd gone too far. Ah, oh, unlucky Caliber. You would have won if not for that. Now you have to revive your fall on. That sort of negated any sort of uh, advantage you had. At least Faramir's still alive and leveling up nicely. He's got the Captain of Athelion upgrade. And I'm not sure how Roek is tanking archers like that. There we go. Go down, fucking raven. I feel bad it's a bird, but <laughs> it should have died ages ago. That was bullshit. All right, Master of Lake Town is here. Tier 3 now. Only Brand is in there. And that's giving him plus 20, but not much else value. And I guess he's just, just just trying to, like, hold up the attack or something? If so, that was a pretty ballsy use of a tier 3. We've got the Redoubt coming in. More Lake Towners. Pretty small base. Like, there's no extra barracks or anything. He spent a lot of his extra money on heroes. And the Master of Lake Town. Providing more damage. There goes Tunnel Collapse. Let's see what caliber has got. He's got a marketplace. He's got Athelian Rangers. And Erebor's made the, the uh, Legionnaires of Dorwinian. Okay. A second assembly comes in. Athelian Wood for the extra buffs. And Caliber's going to make his move. He's going to need more clan uh, clansmen, though, if he wants to hit through this. And is there a, is there a way for him to actually catch these units? Because he can just keep sniping them away. Roak will be back soon, so they'll have to deal with the Cav. Balan's come back. And he's going for a Volt Wardens, alright. I, ex I expect only one Volt Warden will come out, and I think he'll go for uh, Worm Slides afterwards. Okay, improved Arrow Volley now. He needs to proc this well and proc this hard. The Master of Lake Town is beating... Oh, literally beating him with a fucking... A, a two by four. Is Faram? You're kidding me. The master of Lake Town killed a captain of Gondor. 
and that and the arrows he got out of arrow range just at the end and he summoned the masters of the lake full long is back I'm probably about to kill Balan for a second time there goes Numenor in engineering having to spin all the way around but bruh targets enemy hero is crippled and loses 25% armor literally the fucking railing or, or, or the, the banister from probably the stairs in his manner he just ripped that from the stairs and just beat the Beat Farmer over the head with it, and that was that's an ability apparently. He's going back in, he's exposed the Athelian Rangers lost sight of him. One more volley. I thought he was about to say by Gal Maraza, uh, but he just said by Gal. But uh yeah, he actually got value. He killed a captain of Gondor. That was hilarious. And uh, that summon held up uh Kalibar a bit. Numenor and engineering now within yeeting distance. Although, unlike regular yeeting principle, this is actually highly accurate. And I think he's going to get the redoubt, unless he wants to spend points... Unless he wants to spend points on rebuild, he's probably going to take it out. And here come... Those... Blasted Ram Riders. Although the Athelian Rangers, because of the... Because of the Athelian Wood Buff, are not actually dying in a single trample. Then his Spitman are there to get rid of him. But I think he needs to do a full-scale retreat now. The Redoubt is down. He's, he's got two sources of XP buff now because uh, Brand also gives XP. Alright, so long as he gets that without full long dying. A forward farm? Dude. Have you noticed that there's no heroic statues? We've seen wells, but no heroic statues. This has been so strange. Anyway, the Legionaries are Darwinian. I don't know how good these guys are. We never see them come out, but they got a farm. That's good enough value for me. That's 12 points for uh, uh, Tangram. Racking up the, racking up all the points now. And there goes Heroic Statue. Okay, so base defense Heroic Statue. Very good counterattack. Aside from losing Faramir, pretty damn good counterattack by Kalibur. So he's been, he's been winning these battles, but they've been Pyrrhic. He's been losing heroes and, lose, and yielding a lot of power points. I think he needs to tech up and get some tanky Ar Arnorians. What level is this barracks? Now he's upgrading it. Okay. The thing is, though, by the time he goes back in, are we going to see mithril-tipped arrows? It doesn't look like it. Dwalin, that's your service. All right, big boy Dwalin. Heavy hitter Dwalin. Inspire fear, mini earthquake. Or as the kids say, furious blow. I want to see if he's got Bodkins. No, not yet. Okay. Let's see. Let's switch to Kalibur Cam. Double tier 2 and 14 points. So I was said I said his victories have been Pyrrhic, and they have been. But at least he's been gaining a crap ton of power points. Because he's got... He's got almost enough for tier 3, and he's bought an extra tier 2. Honorian Knights now. Elite Cav. I think fighting in the Athelian Wood for so long actually paid dividends there because he got so much value. Like, the like the, 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 the huge armor and damage from fighting in the Athelian Wood. Yeah, he got so much value there. Forcing Tangrim on the defensive. And is he gonna, is he gonna try and draw out the main force and then do a flanking action? He's got a well-rounded army. Pike, Swordsman, Archer, and Hero. Literally the most perfectly rounded army you'll see. And I wonder what his plan is here. There goes the uh, slam shot. Faramir is getting focused and he can't retreat because of the slow. Faramir, at least do your abilities before you die. Oath of Aeol comes in. Attack from the left. Okay, Faramir, arrow volley. Captain of Athelion, do something. There goes Oath of Aeol, fully upgraded. And that was a lot of... That was a huge trample. There goes the Undermine to cancel the charge. They got buffed by the Athelian Wood as well. Dwalin leading the line, chopping down these uh, uh, Athelian Rangers. And Faramir is within Dwalin distance. There goes the heal. There goes the Inspired Fear. And Faramir, lucky bastard, managed to take down Dwalin. There goes more Summon Cav. The Oath of Eel with their Forge Blades cutting down most of the uh, Lake Town army. Forlong's going in again. Balan is somehow still alive. And if not for those Vault Wardens, that could have been really bad for Tangrim. Because those uh, Riders of Rohan are uh, no slouches. Wow. Athelian Rangers. It's so... 
Man, just cavalry flanks everywhere. Forlong's obviously been hit by the uh, arrow. I think just turn and fight, man. Just turn and fight. There's no way you're getting them out. Yeah, there you go. Fuck him up! Desperate last stand! And we'll just say Marshall of Lake Town got the kill, even though he clearly didn't. But uh, it sounds like something he would do, taking credit for something he had nothing to do with. Fucking hell, that was... It was hard to focus... It was hard to decide what to focus on. There was so much action going on there. Um... But yeah, I, the Oath of Eel there. He won't be able to rely on that all the time. It's a tier 3, you have to go away for that cooldown. And both ends now... ...belong to Tangrim. I think it's gonna come down to who gets the upgrades quicker. Because they're taking their time with that. No Bodkins yet. No Blacksmith, actually, for Kalibur. I think last time we saw Kalibur, he didn't get a Blacksmith. Or was that Old Nosy? That might have been Old Nosy, actually. Um, but we know Tangrim has his uh, forge out. And so much intense action going on here. Numenorean Engineering is back. He's got 12 points. He's halfway to tier 4. Although Tangrim is one point away from tier 4. And I think his... I think his is Kaven. Honestly, I can never remember which one it is. <laughs> I, I can never remember which one it is, whether it's the Earthquake or Thrall Sword. Either one actually works well. Okay, it is Kaven. I was right the first time. Four heroes out, because I'm assuming Roak is just flying around somewhere. And now the Arnorians are out. They won't have heavy armor. But if he can just get Bodkins on these guys... Okay, there's Roak. XP boost will come in soon. There it is. I think what Tangram needs to do is get some Worm Slayers out here. Just charge the lines and cut down his heroes. Because I think with all these buffs you've got going on... Even though these Arnorians are uh, tanky, I think with all these buffs he should be able to deal with it. It's those heroes that are giving him the, best, the, the biggest problem. Alright, he's going in. Triple Vault Wardens. I've never seen level 5 Vault Wardens before. But they're giving- they're, they're buffing everyone with the armor now. There goes Captain's Horn. Improved Arrow Volley could go in here. All the powers are going in. Numenor and Engineering. And the Martial Lake Town's gonna get zero value, got focused by the Archers. Ram Riders going in. Heroic Statue. <gasps> Caven Destroys the barracks, but not the archery range. So he's trying to seize the means of production, so to speak, by destroying his barracks. But he didn't get much value, and that's his tier 4 flush down the window. He's trying to stop reinforcements from entering the battlefield. Arnorian's flank with Athelians. The Athelian wood is still there, so these units are all being buffed. Roet goes down. And buffed units are not... I kind of didn't realize how many Athelian ranges Kalaba had. So these Lake Towners are really in a tricky spot here. Boromir now, leveling up. If he gets the knife throw off, he'll get level 4. And then he can do Horn of Gondor, though it won't do anything near the Herc statue. But that was such a cool flank by Kalaba to go through the Athelian Woods there to get the buff. And there's Descend or uh, Dragon Slayer. He's not the Descendant, he is the Dragon Slayer. There are no monsters around, but... Oh. Bruh, Faramir just tanked that like a champion. <laughs> they did slam shot. He just did. S Lol, Fireman does no use slam shot. And then, oh, they both die. Fireman needed an army to kill uh, Bard. Yeah, that, that that sounds about right. Man, if the improved Aravoli went in so much sooner, then he could have saved himself a lot of hurt. Because the improved Aravoli has a huge radius. I don't think he would have been able to get out of it, and it would have killed them. Anyway, the Worm Slayers have arrived. They've got their fire bombs. Mostly heroes and Athelian Rangers here. And there go the messengers of Manwe! Imagine... Imagine using the servant... Imagine using creatures that were ordered by Manwe himself to go to Middle Earth. That, sound, that sounds a bit one-sided. That sounds a bit unfair. Anyway, they're taking down the Redoubt, which is level 2 and tanking it really respectably. 
I mean, I like this Tangram. He's played really well, and he's he's gone for things you don't usually see, like lots of Vault Wardens. He's gone... He's actually researched the Arkenstone, which is surprising. And these bloody Ram... How many archers were there? Oh my god, these Ram Ride... Jesus Christ. I was looking at the Messengers of Manway while all that was going on, and these guys just get all the kills. <laughs> Dude, if we could see Lord Dane come out. Doesn't Lord Dane summon Ram Riders uh, at level 10? This battle is far from over, boys. Far from over. I mean, he... Let's see, let's see. No, they literally all fucking died. Gandalf the White is here. Durin's Day comes out for Tangram. And I think that's Keeley, yep. Man, this has been this has been a 1v1, and it's been so hard to keep track of everything that's going on. We've got the Arkenstone making an appearance. We got both tier 4s dropping, getting very little value. In fact, Messengers of Manway got one building. So the same as Kaven. Oh boy, and then all those archers just die in the blink of an eye to those bloody ram riders that are the fucking MV. The, they're okay. I I was gonna call them the MVP, and then I was like, you know what? I call them the goat because they are goated, and then I realized no, they're actually goats. <sighs> okay, fine. They're goated. They're goated. And fucking, will you shut up, Stephen Fry? Even though that's not Stephen Fry, but you know what I mean. Wait, undermine in the back. There goes the arrow volley. They're gonna get the marketplace. And worm slayers give no fuck about your um, your uh, arrow volley. Durin's day comes in. He's still got the fire grenade. Are we gonna see wizard blast? Boom! Level three to Gandalf. There goes the 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 heal. There goes the summon of the Citadel guard. And if he destroys the undermine, because there's a builder here too. Oh, he wasn't able to get his reinforcements out. That was a full mine. That, okay, and, he, and is he gonna build a forward mine? Yikes, I think Keeley's gonna die too. There goes the slam shot and a single Anorin Knight. Oh! That was a hilarious Hail Mary. He almost got more reinforcements out, although it's probably a good thing he didn't because they would have all died. But there it goes. The Undermine. So that's two tier threes used up because Durin's Day also got used up. And all he lost was a bunch of his heroes. <laughs> the Torridians get some payback with an XD. You gotta love it. Okay, let me see. We got a uh, Boromir coming out here. No Horn of Gondor. Tangram used up a lot of energy on that attack. Oath of Eol is back. And another Athelian word. Maybe sending these Anorans around the flank. Get some periphery, uh, get some like probing attacks, you know. Take out some of these mines. Alright, Roek is still there. The Iron Hills summon is back, somehow. Gandalf Wizard Blast. There goes the Oath of Eol. Balan isn't instantly dead. Gandalf is on half health. Gandalf has been hit by the slam shot. He got focus. He sticks out like a sore thumb. And I think he's just going to get out of range of Bard. Iron Hill Warriors are here now to counter. Oh my god, so many pikes out of the mine shaft. Oh, uh, fucking cavalry everywhere. Get, is Gandalf going to die? Oh, and he does go down, man. No wizard blast, and he got he got focused by the uh, sniper heroes there. Your friend needs a hand. And it's a shame the heal was off cooldown. No, no minor in engineering. He's not doing it on this attack. Oath of Eel got very little value. They are just canceling each other out. The tier threes and fours getting very little value here. Let's see the cooldown on. Uh, okay, Kaven is about halfway back. Now Numenor and Engineering comes back? That's kind of strange. But now that... Okay, now that he's got the level 3 assembly and he's actually making Iron Hill Warriors... He's just... He's gonna have to get Bodkin Arrows. Horn of Gondor can be used, although I wouldn't see the point. He's gonna do it. Alright, well he's got the stun there. Boromir, Faramir, and Forlong fighting on the front lines here. Balan actually beating Forlong. I think he had help. Easy there. I'm not an orc. And yeah, he's gonna need upgraded Athelians, because I don't see how you beat these uh, Iron Hill Warriors any other way. I certainly wasn't expecting Gandalf to come back. But yeah, poor guy, he just got focused there. 
If he had got the second Wizard Blast off, then it would have been a good day at the office for Gandalf, but unfortunately he did not. And Carliver still fighting. He's gone with Western Winds now. And on his way to getting LSR. Dolwinian, see? Harassing. He's going to get a level 3 farm here. Unless the rebuild comes in. I don't think Carlob is noticing because he's too busy focused. And a level 3 farm goes down. And the heroic stature is still there. So they're getting buffed by it. Oh, that's that, that's precious. Anyway, a mine for a mine. Although that one's only level 3. This one is actually level 2. Redoubt being rebuilt for like the 18th time. Any upgrades yet? Fucking hell. What is wrong with this? Not making upgrades? This is hilarious. I'm not an orc. Like, no. No, no, you're not. There goes the slam shot. There goes Dragon Slayer. Oh, look at that attack speed. There goes the heal. That slow is devilish. And there goes the Western Winds. But that's not going to work on, Dr on Bard. Holy f- Okay. That slow is insane. That slow is a hero killer. It's basically Elven King's Patience at level 1 on a single target. That is hilarious. Bruh. I fight for gun. Man. Forget about the Ram Riders. I think Bard is MVP. Level 10. He's got a heal. Got the XP buff. Speaking of Ram Riders and they will appear. Eh, there they go. I don't know who's going to win. Colibur is trying so hard to break through. But I think these Iron Hill Warriors just might be Gondor's kryptonite here. Anytime he masses ranges to mow them down, Rams will just appear. And Brandon Keeley are just going to snipe all these heroes. Gandalf is back. Bruh, there's no heal. There's no heal. Although the slam shot has been used. You know what he could do? He could put Gandalf on uh, Shadowfax. And then use his stun. His, um... His, uh... Yeah, the stun he gets a level 1 on Bard. And then just focus him down. And then you don't need to worry about it. But that's easier said than done. He used Thrall's Horde. He grabbed the 10k and then used Thrall's Horde. Okay. Well, Undermine disoriented the army, including heroes. So that's 10k now, which means the heroes are going to be coming out. I think that actually might be GG. I said he'll he'll probably nudge ahead now. And there goes a slam shot. Another hero falls. It's just too good. And he's got four... Yeah, okay, that's GG. Caliber, you put up one hell of a good fight. One hell of a good fight. But Forge Blades, he's, he throws Horde. He's going to be maybe making a hero to go with it as well. But yeah, if he couldn't kill them before the upgrades, he certainly can't kill them after the upgrades. The only thing he could do, maybe LSR. But even then, Army of the Dead won't insta-kill these upgraded units. And now that they've got the XP buff, so they're even tankier. Yeah. I don't even think LSR could pull this back. I'm not sure what to do here. Or what he would do here. This is no chance meeting. And there is Thorin Broken Shield. Um, the Arkenstone has been researched, so he's got his... Uh, or does he always come out like that? Honestly, it's been so long since I made him, I have no under no idea. I'm pretty sure he does, given that he's got King Under the Mountain as his leadership. Okay, here we go. Last march of the Kalaba. Maybe an arrow volley. Bodkin arrows are there. Dragon Slayer has been used. There goes for Gondor. Gandalf has been hit by something. Wizard Blast, maybe? There goes Horn of Gondor. How did Dragon Slayer come back? That's insane. That's got such a short cooldown. Wizard Blast gets virtually no value. Durin's Day comes in to counter the Horn of Gondor, so these Athelian Rangers haven't been firing. Denethor is here. Denethor can remove leadership. He did that, actually, with the Stone of Venarian. Well done by Kalibur. He's not out of this yet. <gasps> but again, the slam shot is just too annoying, and Gandalf goes down again. And now Dwalin and Dane are out on the field. Thorin is in there, too. And, yep, there they are. There they are. It's the Ram Riders. And there's Denethor dead. MVP, forget the Rams. It's Bard. It's fucking Bard. That's insane, man. He's just insta-killing these here. Well, 
He 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 slows them down to the point where they just fucking die. Literally just slows them down to the point where they fucking die. It'll be back for the next fight. That'll be another hero that dies. Fire gets decapitated by uh, Thorin. Thorin pulling an Azog there and wiping out the line of uh, line of stewards, I guess, or whatever it would be. Okay, you you can you, you can stop that there. Thorin is low, but there just aren't enough Bodkin arrows. Okay, the return of the king. Will he let his people fail? It looked like he killed Boromir there. That was so... It was coincidental, I know, but it... <laughs> it was almost like the Oathbreaker would be like, Ayo, what up? Caliber is not out of this yet, although Kaven is back. Which means Messages of Manwe isn't far behind. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Messengers of Manwe. Elisar and the Fort. What else could he do to bring down that fort? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think Gondor's got anything left, man. <laughs> I really don't think he's got much left. And the fact that he actually forced a withdrawal. I guess the tower... Okay, I'm very surprised he did that. Because I thought if he was going to use that, he'd combo it with Undermine. Again, he just used up Kaven for no reason. He got a barracks. Oh, whoop de doo Messengers of Manwe is back. Now, they will get a lot of value. Messengers of Manwe, when the battle starts, if he can combo it with the Horn of Gondor or something, then they could get a lot of value. But, Black Arrow of Dale is back, and Dragon Slayer is also back. Dude, Dragon Slayer cooldown is insane. It's a level 10. How does it come back that quickly? You can like basically combo it with Black Arrow of Dale every single time. When people were saying Bard was like one of the best heroes, I thought, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, sure he is. Like, yeah, you can just snipe a few guys and just get out. Yeah, lo lots of heroes can do that. This is insane, though. He's done it to- Okay, if LSR dies... What the hell- Okay. I don't know what the Master of Lake Town was doing there, but there goes Athelus. Did you can see the Dragon Slayer arrows coming in? Bro, that's a tier 4, man. Okay, there's the Oath of Eol. Is Bard finally going to die? Dude, thank God for the heal. Thank God for the- for the Athelus and the heal. Dude, he's still getting LSR. He's still within range. The Ram Riders are trying to get him too. Oh. More are reclaimed. Run, LSR, run for your life. <laughs> the Ram Riders are trying their best. Everyone is trying to kill LSR. Dude. Okay, you need to run. You need to run. Oh my god, that's- While he's been trying to keep LSR alive, the Dwarves of Erebor have just been pushing through now. Dwalin's low, he's probably gonna die. But fuck it, that, that's what- that's all Brand, by the way. That, that this was all Brand. Brand who had a bunch of Oath of- or a bunch of Aeolingus behind him, and just got completely ignored. Bruh, that's- <laughs> But this has been the Bard show. The Bard Superstar Hour. The heal did get used on LSR, by the way. Got it now. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, you wanna know what's funny? The amount of effort he went into to keeping LSR alive. Let's click on Brown, shall we? Oh look, his abilities are back! Would you look at that? <laughs> I wonder if Thorin did that. I wonder if Thorin called them down. No, he didn't. He doesn't even have it yet. That's literally just Brand. Or a Bard. <laughs> yeah, that needs to be nerfed, man. That needs to be nerfed. <laughs> Cause look, he he's oh he's in he's in with it. He's he's in but um Bard range. There it is! <laughs> there it is! <laughs> there it <laughs> Man, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the f- <laughs> Bruh.
I'm gonna try that. Bard's gonna instantly die. I'm gonna throw my monitor out the window. That's what's gonna happen. But yeah, MVP Bard. Uh, well played to both. Kalaba played so well, but Tangrim unashamedly just barded his way to victory, and it was beautiful. Um, that was that was a really exciting 1v1 to watch. I hope you guys all enjoyed it as much as I did. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Peace out. Goodbye.